We will lecture to other countries about their environmental issues, yet in our own backyard, this is a public toilet. Oh, yeah. there's the tampon. Yeah. That's disgusting. You look at this particular river and you think how stunning it is. You have no idea what's going on underneath. Classed as the dirty man of Europe. We should never have gotten to this stage. Britain is blessed with hundreds of beautiful rivers, like the River Wharf here in Yorkshire. But the water here isn't as idyllic as it first seems. Last year, raw sewage was dumped into this water more than 1,600 times. I've come to Weather Bay to meet one man who knows more than most what's going on beneath the surface. It was 1989 when I first ventured into a river to do some filming. It just literally blew my mind. I was surrounded by grayling, barbel, so many different species of fish. If I could give this to everyone else, that experience, they would understand that these areas are just so important. All the rivers that I use for filming, the demise of them is on a biblical scale, if I'm honest. The main drivers around here is sewage and agricultural runoff. And this is where I started coming in thinking, well, you know, let's start collecting this, documenting it, to show people that all this lot is coming through the river. Mark's lived in Weatherby for all of his life. He said when he started diving here 30 years ago, he was surrounded by hundreds of fish but today he can't find any. He has, however, not come back empty-handed. Not one fish. Unbelievable. But we do have some bits. What you found, Mark? Well, just literally, I mean, I've literally spent five minutes just looking around the willows. And oh, God. that's the type of product. I mean, it's, it's shocking. And so what is that? They're sanitary pads. These have all been discharged at some point upstream. You shouldn't be coming across this in a river at all. It should be getting screened out, but it does yeah. absolutely appalling. And I'm seeing more of them than fish. I don't know why I do this. I really don't. <laughs> the first time I came across a sewage discharge when I was actually filming underwater and I just came across this, what I assumed was a wall of silt, and then it wasn't until I surfaced, I realised that there was a CSO more or less five metres away that was discharging straight onto me. So by the time I'd got out, I was covered in not only human waste, but sanitary products as well. And I've got to admit, it shocked me. I was, I was covered, the smell was horrendous. And that's then when I started noticing more and then started documenting and filming what I see obviously underwater. I, I do various talks up and down the country and you know in my talks I'll always include the pollution footage. That is a shocker for everyone because they assume that the sewage is you know that they're paying to have the sewage treated and then when you show them underwater in their village or town what's being filmed and what's in there they're absolutely appalled. People start thinking well you know, we should start doing something about this. It shouldn't be happening. It's literally... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. If we just leave things as they are, you'll end up with rivers that are clinically dead, where nothing will survive. And the problem with that is, is that if we lose these areas, it's going to have a knock-on effect on everything else. So we need, we need to get this sorted out. So that's, I don't know if you can just see, but that's the type yeah. of thing that, you know, as you can see, that they just literally get caught in the branches. Oh, so that's one of the yeah. sanitary towels. Yeah. You never know when you're going to come across it. Yeah. But obviously then when you do, that's generally when I tend to put the camera down and start picking off. Oh, um, there's yeah. the tampon. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, you know, these are all common sights on a, yeah. I mean, just how bad yeah, is that? I mean, that's, that? <laughs> it kind of I looks mean, like a fish swim. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like the great sanitary migration. Yeah. Well, trouble is, this is happening every day, unfortunately. Yeah. I can't collect everything because as fast as I remove it, within a week, there's just as much there again, to be quite honest. So it's just like a vicious cycle. Water companies are only allowed to discharge untreated sewage into rivers at times of exceptional rainfall, when the sewage infrastructure is at risk of becoming overwhelmed. It hadn't rained in weeks when we visit Yorkshire, so the water levels were really low. 
But on the day after we leave, Mark sends us footage which he says shows sewage being discharged into the river again. But Mark said he isn't prepared to give up on Britain's rivers just yet. At the moment, these areas aren't dead, so there is that chance that we can get them back. Because that's one of the most amazing things about rivers, is that if they are nurtured and cared for, they will recover. As it stands with hope, I'll be filming till I take my last breath. Yorkshire Water did not respond to our request for comment. 